What's up guys, it's Zach, and today we're back with another mouse video, um, but this isn't necessarily going to be me talking about the mice I've used in the past. This video is going to be a lot shorter, um, and it's just kind of bringing to light to see if anybody else has had a similar issue as me with this Death Adder V3 Pro. Um, I'm not even sure if it's necessarily an issue, it's just something I've noticed, and having used um, previous Razer mice and... Logitech mice. I never had this issue with other Logitech mice, but I figured I would just let you guys know, just in case you are having this similar experience, you know it's probably nothing to freak out about. So, I mentioned before, this is like my end game mouse shape. Um, I love the shape for competitive gaming. It's nice and lightweight, wide enough to fit my hand, long enough to accommodate my finger length and everything. Um, but a really weird issue I'm having, and I'm not sure if it's because I don't use the 4K dongle. This is just the, the standard dongle that comes with the mouse. I guess it's at 1K uh, polling rate. I'm not sure if, like I said, this is an issue with the 4K dongle or not. But if I leave the mouse idle, I think I have my idle time set to about 10 minutes. Um, or maybe 5, but I think it's 10. If I leave the mouse idle and it goes into like a sleep mode where... um it turns the mouse off, kind of puts it in like a, a sleep state, I guess. Um, and when you pick the mouse up, the cursor doesn't move for a few seconds. With every other mouse I've used, um, mainly Logitech, I'm using as the example for this, as soon as I pick up the mouse and move it, it's right back to being able to be used. Sensor doesn't, or the cursor doesn't really lag around and kind of sit in the same spot. Even if I'm doing this, I come back, bump the mouse, and the mouse is working. With my Death Adder V3 Pro, I have had instances, and like I said, I'm not sure if it's because I'm just using the normal 1K dongle. Um, I've had instances where I leave the mouse idle for 10, 20 minutes, come back, pick it up, and expect to be able to get right back into some gaming. And I sit here, do this, maybe click a few times, and the mouse is pretty much not operational for 10, maybe 15 seconds. I just, just kind of sit here swirl it around, try and get it to work, <laughs> and it's it's just not working. Um, so I'm not sure if this is just an issue I'm having. Um, I'm going to try and look into it, but I figured I'd point this out, make sure nobody else has this issue. Um, if this is something that would kind of turn you off from getting the Death Adder V3 Pro, I don't think it should be, but I figured it'd be worth mentioning, say you go to queue up in Valorant or CSGO or some other game you're queuing up into, um, Go use the bathroom, go grab some water, go grab a snack, whatever. And then you come back, you're in around, getting ready to hop into the buy phase. And you're just waiting on the round to start. Well, you go to buy all your weapons or get situated, that you get however situated you need to be for the round. And you're sitting here doing this with your mouse and it's just not working. So <laughs> um, that's really the only chief complaint I have with this mouse at the moment. Um, I've been using it for a little bit longer since the last video. Um... And the only other, I guess, kind of long-term complaint I have with the mouse is since making the last video, um, I've had some longer gaming sessions, especially streaming sessions, where I've used this mouse for seven, eight, nine hours um, gaming or just general use. And the coating that Razer uses, it seems to be a pretty good coating. I, I wouldn't say I have any like major complaints with it. I've heard some people say um, it's chalky. I guess initially it was a little chalky. I wouldn't say it is after having used it um, for a few months now. But I did notice the mouse, and I would say I have sweaty hands while gaming, um, especially after seven, eight, nine hours of gaming in, in a pretty high-intensity game like Valorant or CS or something like that, um, where you have a lot of big arm movements. You're picking up the mouse and dropping it a lot, you know. Um, I've noticed this coating, especially on the clicks and on the side where my thumb is, it's especially slippery. Um, it's not something where the mouse, I pick it up and the mouse is just sliding out of my hand, but I do notice every now and then if I'm making big arm movements, having to pick the mouse up a lot, I kind of have to reset my grip. Um, so if that's something that might turn you guys off, I haven't seen this complaint in any other long-term reviews, so I've been using this mouse for a few months now. I'd say probably three, four months. Um, and if this is a complaint that might kind of turn you off from getting it, this is a pretty similar coating that Razer uses on all their um, Pro line mice, like the Death Adder V2 Pro, Death Adder... Well, Death Adder V3 Pro is the only one with this specific coating in the Death Adder family. 
but I know the Viper V2 Pro um, uses a similar coating. So if that's something that might turn you guys off from getting the mouse, just keep that in mind. But that's pretty much it. I kind of wanted to just expose these issues that I'm having. Not even necessarily issues. It's just you would think for a mouse of this price and caliber centered around professional gaming, um, you'd be able to come back, pick up the mouse, and the sensor starts working instantly rather than having like, it almost seems like it has a calibration time. Um, it's just a delay between when it wakes up from you moving it around and when it wakes up. So um, that's all I got. If you guys got any questions, be sure to put them in the comments. Um, I noticed the last video doesn't have comments turned on for whatever reason. So, yeah, if you guys got any issues, let me know. Um, if you've got any other specific mouse questions, you can hit me up in the comments or on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. Peace.